and mixed in with the water is baking soda. The baking soda has turned brown. Now, you see those two pieces of metal? They go down into there, they go down into the water. And I hook a power supply, or I can use a battery, across those two pieces of metal. And then I, I think I like the balloon thing the best. He used that electrical thingy when he shock in it. This is a unique program. It's called Fun with Science. It's run out of the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. And it's a program to introduce basic science with experiments. And another thing that we try to do is to get as many kids involved with the experiment as we can. So this is not a program for the kids. It's a program with the kids. Okay, Naomi, you can blow into this bag. Watch the lamp. <laughs> when I walked in, I was really impressed because our kids were so engaged. I loved the presentation. I think Nick did a great job using a little bit of humor and you know, the kids were a little bit you know, uncertain to begin with, but he was just a lot of fun and he made science fun. We just have one class of science. We just watch videos and then answer questions and just do a whole bunch of notes. Real life is hands-on. They get to touch, look, learn. We learned about elephant toothpaste, blowing up explosions. It's not just words on a page. It's like the balloon exploding. If you told someone the balloon explodes, they might get somewhat interested, but seeing the fireball definitely gets them a lot more interested in how hydrogen is flammable. Count it down with me. Put your fingers and ears. Five, four, three, two, Middle schoolers, afterward, they were really excited. They were walking around with their spectrum glasses and making comments about things. They were actually doing a little bit of science with the small materials that they had. And that's what we're after. Introduce these kids to science at a young age that's going to stay in their mind, and hopefully they'll continue that when they get to high school and college. It may spark an interest in them, especially the younger kids. The contact we have with Akima has been fantastic. We wouldn't have had the opportunity to have presentations like this without their help. And it's made a huge difference for us as teachers. It's made a huge difference for the students. And that's what we need to expose our children to is something they don't get to see outside the village. Anything new to them is going to be exciting and it's going to give them excitement to learn. I had one of my kids, he said it was to inspire. And I was like, you're absolutely right. 